Hey fishing friends, JC here with Rad Reeling Fishing. I'm back down here at the river again doing some night fishing. It's almost midnight. The tide is just stopping. I'm here a little bit early. I wanted to get here after it had turned around. But I had some leftover shrimp from last night and uh, not a lot. Got some small ones in there, man. But uh, yeah, I probably got two dozen in there. So I'm gonna fish here for a while. The temperature is not nearly as cold tonight. It was 48 degrees last night. It's more like 56 degrees tonight. A little bit warmer. Uh, probably be able to go without my gloves. But I just stopped in here. The tide is barely moving. And uh, I've caught several snook right here in this, this little area right in here. So I'm gonna give it a shot. See if we can't get something going on here. Man, I tell you, when the when the tide when the tide gets slacked tonight, I need to take time to get this tangled net mess straightened out here. Well, I'm actually not going to fish this very hard right here, and I'm going to just put on a small shrimp. I just leaned over the rail. The tide is pretty much stopped at this end. I checked out at the other end of the river. And it was moving when I was down there, but I came down here and it's it's almost completely stopped. So man, we'll see what happens. Got ourselves a really good high tide here. I was here last night. I caught fish on both tides. I caught them right at the end of the incoming and in the first hour and a half of the outgoing. They are right on with the tide. They said 1130 tonight and it is dead 1140. Hey, we got a fish, man. Look at that. Look at that. We got us a flounder. All right. Nice. I just threw that shrimp out there and let him sit out there. Got me a little flounder. I went over that way to get my cooler and stuff and bring it down here. And I just set my rod down and got the, got the little flounder flounder. Good deal, man. Way to go. Way to go. All right, little guy. Thanks for the catch. See ya. Woo! Now, I've got this rail here. Now, if you ever want to set your rod down when you've got a rail or like a concrete post or on a dock or anything, and you want to leave the bale open on your spinning reel, you don't want to like loosen the drag. If it's not real windy, you can take your rod and just set it down like that. And then when you set it down, get it situated up here so that one of the, the fishing eyes isn't touching the actual rail and just take your line and gently wedge it in between the rail and your fishing rod and what that will do is that'll keep your line tight like right here and if a fish pulls it it'll pull it off but it'll keep your line from getting pulled out unless you get a bite and uh, it works fine as long as it's not like really windy if it's really windy with braided line the wind is going to blow it on your reel and it'll get all messed up down there. That's a little tip for you. That's so way you can keep the bale open here and then keep your line from going out just automatically. Just wedge it underneath there just a little bit like that. So it's it's not the main line here that's really tangled. But what it is, it's, it's where these three lines that go to the net, where they come together at the union right here. I don't know how in the world this got all tangled but uh it's gonna take a little while to get sorted out but the tide's completely slack i just casted that rod out there i caught that little flounder and uh yeah we'll get this thing untangled here freaking did it man 10 minutes later one knot completely undone There we go. There we go. Here we go. That's a good one there, man. That's a freaking good one. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Get him out. Away from that dock over there. Here we go, man. We got the good one. We got the freaking good one, baby. 
we got a big fish on a little bitty shrimp that was a small freaking shrimp man really small shrimp big fish big fish big freaking fish oh yeah that's a nice freaking snook there that is a nice one nice oh yeah it's a good one there man that is a good one y'all he hit a little bitty freaking shrimp little tiny thing man bitty shrimp my net is way the freak over there all right we gotta walk him down this way nice good snook man good freaking snooks about time i've been catching these little dinks Here's that tricky part. You gotta put the rod down, put my foot on the rod to hold the rod, and I gotta get my, that keeps his head up out of the water. And I gotta get my net ready. Once I get a handle on the net, then I can lift the fishing pole up and hold his head up that way. There we go. That's a good snap. That's a good one there. Let's uh, see if we can get this guy undone. Man, he was hooked good too. Cut that hook right back there in the, it's not in his gills. It's right where his, it's really tough, right there where his gills start. Right back in there is where he was hooked. Oh yeah, that's a good one. That's a freaking good one right there. Woo. Thanks for the catch, man. See ya. Yes. <laughs> ah, woo. Man, he hammered little bitty freaking shrimp. That was a slop fish right there. Nice snook, man. Nice fight, too. All right. I'm going to get back out there and get another one, man. That was fun. That fish right there tried so hard to get me underneath that dock over there. He kept running. He made two hard runs. He was trying to get under that dock. And I was afraid I was going to lose a 15 pound braid, 40 pound test leader. I palmed him. I palmed the spool one time, I think, just to slow him down because he was running hard. Yeah, man. Freaking, whew. That leader was frayed about six inches. So, doing a little bit of retie here again. And then we're going to get back on him love snook fishing man absolutely love snook fishing i'm telling you nothing like it so much fun glad i found these snook down here man you guys i have caught snook on lures and pinfish and ladyfish mullet freaking jigs but i have caught more snook on shrimp than any other any other bait in my lifetime and i've been snook fishing for 40 years man something just popped right there i got weeds on this thing right over there something popped there he is little guy there's the one over there though Little snook. <laughs> I just heard something pop over there, man. All right, little fella. Nice. All right, man. Thanks for the catch. See ya. Yes. Just might get us one right in here nice and dark looks like where they'd be hanging out and in here there he 
is. There he is. There he is. Oh, baby. We got another good one. We got another good one. <laughs> oh, I love that sound. There he is, right here. Another good snook, man. Dang. Got some quality snook tonight. Awesome, baby. Woo! That is a good one. Do the net trick. Foot on the pole. Oh, yeah. Good snook, man. Good friggin' snook. Good snook, man. Good snook. Heck yeah. He'd be slot all freaking day long. All right, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Had him hooked right in the top of the mouth, man. Had him hooked really good. Really awesome fish, man. Nice snook. Big boy. It's a big boy there. All right. All right, buddy. Thanks for the catch. See ya. Well, guys, I called it again. I cast it out there and I said, man, there's going to be a snook right here or something like that because it's really dark. I mean, all this is like all lit up from the street light, but there's one area over there that's just like super dark. He hammered that thing, man. Another nice snook. This is a good night here, you guys. I've only been out here for a little while since this tide started moving. To catch two quality snook like that, it's a good night right here, man. There we go. Snapper. Snapper. It's a big snapper, though. It's a big snapper. It's a good one. Every time I come here, I catch a keeper snapper, man. See ya! I want to show you how I hook these shrimp. If you're new to the channel, I turn them over upside down. Shrimp always have a little black spot right on the side of their head. This is such a small shrimp. But right in front of that black spot from underneath the shrimp, right in front of their legs, right dead center, you wanna put your hook in there and then pull it straight up through the top. Right straight up through the top, like that. So that hook is right in front of the black spot and it goes from underneath and it comes straight out through the top and what that does is the weight of the hook causes that shrimp to float through the water naturally. And uh, yeah, I, I've got a lot of videos where I've caught snook on shrimp, and that's the way I rig them. This has got, uh, these are small shrimp. I'm using a one knot owner hook on these shrimp. They are so small. When I have larger shrimp, I'll fish a four or a five knot hook. And then from here, Tonight, I have a 40 pound leader on here. This seems to be working really good for these river snook. 
and then from the 40 pound leader pull this out from the 40 pound leader I'm running up to to uh, 15 pound test braid on my main line so from the 40 pound leader um, I'm making that leader about eight feet long and then I just cut it off as I go through the evening right now it's about six feet long I've had to retie several times but yeah 40 pound test monofilament leader tied on to 15 pound test braid with an FG knot fishing rod right here is it's an ugly stick elite seven foot medium heavy and it's paired up with a pin pursuit 4000 uh, pin pursuit 2 this they've got a new model out now the pin pursuit 3 but uh, I have just like I have these are workhorses man for a year and a half now I have worked these pin pursuits and they are just really really good reels for the price so that's what I'm fishing with tonight all right guys so the number one bait for 40 years now that I've caught the most snook on has been shrimp no doubt about it I learned how to catch snook on shrimp I've been tearing them up down here at the river on shrimp and uh, you know what it's just a good all-around bait they're accessible from bait shops and snook will hit them man and I caught two nice snook tonight on two very very itsy bitsy little bitty shrimp so you can catch nice size snook snook nice size snook on small shrimp so i've showed you how to rig them get out around bridges get around seawalls get around docks and boats and mangroves and drop off areas places where snook are going to hang out make sure you got some current and uh hey give it a try you might get on some snook thumbs up or appreciated make sure you check out my patreon account i created that so you guys have an opportunity to help with the finance to this channel i absolutely love making these videos i know you guys enjoy watching them and uh, you're all greatly appreciated so get out there and go fishing man life is fun you gotta live it see ya